Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you guys my arena class setups. Uh, a lot of people wanted to see this stuff and I finally got around to it right now. I'm going to make this sort of short and sweet, hopefully a little bit in depth as well, explain a few certain things that people might be wondering, you know, like what, what the hell are you doing that for? Hopefully I explain it well enough and if you don't understand stuff that I have in my classes, you know, just ask in the comments, I'll reply like I always do, but yeah, let's get into it. So straight up, we got hard point and then we just got S and D, link and flag. I mean... Uplink and CTF, the classes aren't too different, I don't think. Um, I'll, get, I'll just explain it when I get to them, but I'm not going to take that. I'm not going to go through, you know, all 40 classes one by one. I'm just going to sort of talk about each gun and why I have certain amount of classes for each gun and all that. Um, this is based on if these guns and this perks and equipment don't get banned. So obviously, ban and protect. People ban the VMP a fair bit now. People ban the MA a fair bit now. People ban the snipers in S&D. Um, people ban... Afterburner overclock, so this is just based on if people don't ban the stuff, so yeah, keep that in mind. I mean, obviously, you gotta change up your classes, but this is usually there's 10 classes that I'll usually pick. Like, you know, if something if nothing out of these classes get banned, I'll use these classes. That's yeah, basically what I'm trying to say. But anyway, let's get into it. So, VMP, I use the same sort of you know setup on every gun, so same attachments, but I'll just run through it once. So, VMP, I've got quick draw, grip, and long barrel. Um, reasoning behind that is I feel like long barrel does something i never used to think it did and then i started using it like a fair bit and i got used to it and i feel like every time i take long barrel off now i don't like it as much so you do see a lot of pro players rocking quick draw and grip or you see pro players rocking stock um i run stock in pubs but it's not really the point i'm going through my arena classes right now so that's what i rock in on the vmp for arena and competitive so yeah but we got um we got three vmp classes we got flak with fast hands, blast presser, a trophy, and a semtex, and we got afterburner with fast hands, um, blast presser, trophy, and a semtex. Um, I'll just use this, and then if they're just hardcore spamming nades, or if you know they're running a fair few RC cars, or if they got a war machine runner, I'll chuck the flat class on. But I like to have afterburner on uh, breach and evac because there's sort of a lot of war running all that on that map, so you kind of want to have afterburner. I mean, it's personal preference. I mean, if you like, if you feel like your movement's good enough for that afterburner, they don't really need it, but. I feel like I need it, but uh, yeah, double MP just in case they get like Cerberus, Sentry Guardian or whatever. Um, you can use this class even if they don't have streaks because it's hell annoying getting double MP'd the whole game. It puts me off a lot, I know that, and I know it puts a lot of people off, but... So then we've got CUDA, exact same setup as the VMP, just the same three classes, but obviously the CUDA, Quick Draw Grip, Long Barrel, same thing. Best setup for a subby in my opinion, same thing, people sometimes don't run Grip on this, some people just run quick draw long barrel because the recall is not too bad but i mean as i said personal preference i prefer grip i feel like long range i'm more accurate with grip so yeah it's just me um m8 we got two classes for the m8 we've got um the double semtex which is for stronghold like there's a lot of contest spots on stronghold so you just throw double semtex and even if they got flak they'll usually die um it's even good for actually it's, it's good for a lot of maps like a lot of the hills are, and there's a lot of corners and stuff and you just double nade the corners and then they're most likely going to die, if, especially if they're weak on the hill. So I usually rock this on most most maps, and um, if I feel like I don't need it, or if I'm playing fringe, I will usually rock this class because I feel like long barrel helps a lot on fringe, like those cross map engagements. I think it does a bit more damage with long barrel. That's just me. That's how I feel. A lot of people say it doesn't do anything, but yeah, that's that's how I feel about it. I have been switching between long barrel and grip, but I don't really run either anymore. Besides on fringe, as I just said, so. That's um, that's the go, yeah. But um, last two classes are just kind of two randoms. I don't, I just switch like between these. If say if the MA gets banned and the Men of War, I'll chuck on the Shiva or something. But I was just mucking around with the ICR. I'm not really sure what I like on that yet. I was thinking maybe this, but Grip instead. But I'm not too sure really. Um, MR6, I've been trying to work on my trigger finger. Not really that good at it, but I just try and um, get better at it each time. But it doesn't really work out. Um, Man of War, I run Long Barrel, um, you can run Grip, either or either, I've sort of switched between the two every now and then, I'm not really sure what's the best, it kind of depends, like if you're vesting an MA long range, you're going to lose without Grip, I think, so yeah, it comes down to personal preference, but they're my hard point classes, so let's get on to S and D. So for S and D, we've got the same thing, we got a, I run, I have an afterburner class and a flak class, because obviously a lot of people get RC cars, HC cars in S and D, and every time I hear like Hostile, HCXD, Inbound, you, I just chuck my flat class on. Um, when you're using HCs yourself, don't call them in until past 1 minute 15 or like 1 minute 14 or below because then the uh, other players can switch to their flat class, like I just said, and you know, 
if you have flak on the hd cards really it's not going to kill you unless you're weak it's not going to kill you even if they get like right next to you i don't even know if it can kill you like i don't think i've ever been killed by one when i have flak on unless i'm weak as i said so keep that in mind try not to use your cars until 114 or below and um you can still get a pretty good look at where the enemies are or even get a couple of kills with the hd car after the first 15 seconds so yeah keep that in mind but no grip actually on this cuda class basically because i just want to have those double stuns i like to use this on infection you like double stun over the like it's on def i think wait, defense no it's on attack it's on attack um you like double stun over the big cliff and you can get like serious like triple kills <laughs> i actually got one the other day just like lob it over the cliff and there's literally like ars snipers just sitting there and they're fucked like they're stunned so it's <laughs> pretty fun to use but um razorback's actually quite good and i like this for smd because it's got that a lot better range than all the other subbies so you can actually challenge the like, ars and stuff and not really snipers but you can actually challenge rather than having a vmp where you really shouldn't be challenging like unless the other player is terrible but yeah i just rub quick draw grip on and stock on the Razorback. It's not really the best gun, but it's definitely improved from the start of the game when it was terrible. They've um, buffed it a couple of times, so it's not really up there with the Cuda and the VMP, but it's definitely definitely um, a good all-round gun. It's not that good in close compared to those two, but yeah, it's still decent. Um, same thing, Man of War, nothing really different to my Harpoon class. Double Frag, This is these are the two classes like I usually rock. I usually run the um, MA in most S&D maps. Besides Evac, I'll run usually like a subby, but Double nades are so good, man. Infection double nades, breach even. You can nade top AC. Um, you can learn so many nade strats. You just look them up on YouTube. Like, there's so many geeks that just upload like the coolest nade spots that I would have never thought of. And yeah, I've been um, using a fair few of them lately. And actually, it's so funny to just get like this mad as like double kill off like first blood or whatever. It's pretty sick. But yeah, um, flat class obviously just in case I got a HC and then sniper class. Um, I do like to snipe a lot. If you've asked me before, I um. I do snipe a lot, but I'm not really sure about my sniper classes. I change them up a lot. I like to have cold blooded and I like to have just a normal class, but usually if I get killed by like a thermal player straight away with a sniper, I'll chuck on the cold blooded and then usually you can outplay them because they're sort of like looking through their scope for the the orange sort of person, but they won't see it because you got cold blooded on. So it's a good way to outplay your enemy if you didn't know that. But yeah, that's S and D. Now let's jump into Link. So. Now, this, this is where it changes up a little bit, I think, compared to my hardpoint classes. Hardpoint, you sort of want to be, you know, more objective-based. You want to have trophy, maybe. You want to have flak. And I don't really run TAC masks because not many people run stuns and flashes in this. A lot of people ban them in the arena because, like, a lot of pro players ban them. So, people try and, you know, copy their favorite pro, play, pro player or whatever. For my VMP, I've got uh, three classes. Same thing. I've got double MP just in case I get streaks. And um, I've got a TAC and a flak class. It's just really comes down to what the enemy's using. I mean, I do tend to run the ball and go for throws and all that, so I'm usually like getting hit by nades and stuns, so I try to get it right. I mean, if the enemy's using both, then I'm kind of stuffed, aren't I? But it's just, you know, preference, really. If you, if they just double stunning and double nading, then it's just a bit unlucky, but yeah, that's that. Kuda, same thing. Um, I like to use this, like, on most evac maps. This is my favorite class. Um, Kuda was just the attachments I was talking about before, and then after burner, overclock, fast ends, and blast reserve. This is just really good, like, slay our class, you know, getting their spawn and just, like, destroy them. I mean, you don't really have much map control um, in arena, especially because you know you got some real potatoes on your team. Usually, like you know you got XX like Beastly Slayer and shit. Like <laughs> they drop like two and thirty, and they're really not helping your team out. But if you've got a decent team, you can usually push up with this sort of class and just like get your specialist, get your kinetic armor, and just like full slay them. So this yeah, it's, it's usually my go-to class. But if I've got some potatoes on my team, I'll probably just chuck on like attack or some stuns or whatever just to. Um, clear the enemies out and try and hit some ones or something, but uh, I don't really use ARs too much in Link. Uh, infection, I use the M8 a lot, and I've got grip on as you can see. This is just uh, infection basically. Infection, I feel like there's a lot of head glitches. Like people sit on the stairs, people sit top, um, like hat, like church, and they sit top building or whatever you want to call the call out. But the tanks, you need to have like a really, really solid shot. And if high cal's not banned, which it always is, I'll chuck that on instead of grip, but. I usually just use grip because your shot's a lot more solid than range with grip and yeah that's just our uh, preference but that's about it i got this these two random cards i don't really use them i mean if ma's banned i'll probably rock the shiva on infection but yeah that's about it for uplink all right so for ctf um we've got a little bit of difference it's probably really compared to all my other classes i just got smoke and hardwired on smokes just in case like it's three or something and there's a minute left you need to get a quick cap they're actually really really handy especially on like fringe you can like double smoke mid map and just like slide through and the enemy's going to struggle to hit you but it's basically the exact same classes as I had on 
uplink besides i've changed up got hardware just in case fags use like six cents or tracker or trip mines or c4 or whatever on the flag which a lot of people do but it's good because like they sort of rely on those trip mines and c4s to protect the flag and if you got hardware they don't even go off so this is actually really really overpowered perfectly like, look how many things that you're immune to you're immune to smoke emp counter trip mines dropped out of the c4 everything like so it's pretty it's pretty crazy but um, yeah, that, that's about it for my classes, dudes. If you did enjoy the video, leave it a thumbs up. Hopefully it wasn't too long. I mean, I didn't really want to um, make a terribly long video because, you know, class hours can be quite boring, but hopefully uh, these helped out and if you want to pause anywhere just to like copy the class or whatever, that's cool, but I didn't want to uh, go over every single class like over the top because, you know, it would take forever, but yeah. Hope you guys have a good one. Peace out.